Hey Sivers, welcome back to CPIT Academy. In this video, we are going to look at two panels, the nuclear and the CAS. All right, let's start with the nuclear panel first. Um, I know it is not functional. We are not going to be dropping nuclear bombs in the F-15E. However, it is part of the cockpit and we can just make the switch function or at least put it there to look right. Okay, to look complete. So for this panel, there's only a big toggle switch three-way that is required, preferably with all these locking ring, washer, stuff like that. And then a toggle safety guard. So normally you put a you put the safety guard like this and then you flip the toggle this way so two ways to secure the toggle from spinning we have seen in the past using the locking hole the locking ring with the hole to hold it to the panel if you add this with without the locking hole the toggle guard um, this plate with the groove here the teeth the tooth here can also secure the um, the toggle but if this is securing the toggle what is securing this all right um, this may move sideways so you can do a top recess and then make this plate here sit in it and it's not going to move if it's not moving then it will hold the toggle to the toggle with the tooth will not move if you have the locking hole and the tooth and the, the recess it's going to be very tight um, it's going to be solid it's, it's not going to move at all all right this is the best combination all three locking hole the tooth and the top recess but for the nuclear panel this toggle switch doesn't go this way it actually goes vertically okay up down like this so we have to switch the locking holes to north south orientation while the guard is still this way okay so this panel is very easy some a panel of the five and three quarter inches width 14605 mm and then one big toggle shuffle with two locking holes that's it okay uh, for the recess you also want to because the uh, the toggle guard it's a bit narrow uh, and the locking holes are wider you have to put them here and also make a slight curve you can see here for the nut to be able to go down to recess if it doesn't go down all the way on the plate which is sitting a bit down it's not going to hold it's not going to completely tighten the um the toggle okay so I've shown you guys uh, how to use the trim before just draw a circle and then trim these two sides then you get this so this is the bottom just a bottom recess with two locking holes and with the text this is complete So DCS BIOS, for this switch, it's a three-way toggle, so two pins, one switch, that's it. Just assign the pins and they're done. So this is how it looks like being completed, goes up down this way. This you can have size. I think six or five those 
panel names, usually I use the font size 6 and then the others are 4.5. Sometimes in very crowded spaces, I reduce it to 4 or 3.5. But 4.5 is normally decent. Anything smaller becomes hard to write down. Um, just be flexible and choose what's best. So this is the nuclear consent um, panel. So you notice that uh, we have the top recess for the toggle guard, but at the same time, there is also a bottom recess for the washer, the locking pin um, to hold the toggle. So sometimes it's necessary to do both top and bottom. Okay. So when this is done, just save and export as usual. So the panel is as shown here, three big toggles. I've uh, changed them to two-way toggles. In DCS BIOS, they are three ways, which is wrong. I'll explain later. So light, light, small button toggles. So these are the switches required. I'm gonna pin this gray. And I'm using 15 mm white light indicator for this beat switch here. Just the push button for now, the light is not working in DCS BIOS and probably not modeled in DCS itself. So for light indicators, try to always use the six volt as mentioned before. And then recesses, locking holes, so initially, the you see the code is still three position, <clears throat> and I gave uh, some fictitious numbers at the back. So the problem is in DCS the way it works is off, reset, on, but a physical switch for a physical switch it will be off in the middle, right? And then on to one side or the other. Even if you use a momentary toggle, it's going to be one side and either side, when you have a three-way toggle, either side is going to make this come down. So the only way to make it work is a two-way toggle on and off and if you want to go to the middle which in DCS is spring-loaded you have to use the mask that's the only way all right now we'll demo how it looks like All right, um, during the demo, you saw that when I press this take off trim button, the actual light thing come on. The DCS BIOS function is not working for this switch yet, just like the beat uh, switch. It has code for the button and not for the light. This one, there is code for the light, but it is not working in TCS spiders. You will see later, there will be more panels where some of the switches are not working. Some of them used to work, now they don't work. Um, sometimes they just break some switches as they roll out new versions. But hopefully, eventually everything will be fixed. 
Okay. So as for all the tutorials, all the episodes, the aim here is to show you guys how easy it is to use FreeCAD and Arduino to be able to make every panel, every switch work for this aircraft F-15E but at the same time the lessons learned can be applied to other aircrafts so that um, we can enjoy a physical cockpit and hopefully with mixed reality we can also enjoy DCS and see the switches and panels please like and subscribe to support my channel and thanks for watching